Nobunaga Concerto is a 10 episode anime that aired in the summer season of 2014. This show is an anomaly as the only name tied to it is Fuji TV. No studio, no notable director, but a decent enough writer. This show seemed to slip under everyone's radar during its run, and I can safely say it was the most underexposed show of 2014. The story follows a teenage boy from modern day Tokyo named Saburo, who is one day taken back in time to the War in States period. It's here that he meets Oda Nobunaga, who happens to look identical to Saburo. Nobunaga begs the teenager to take his place, and so Saburo agrees and becomes Oda Nobunaga. I have seen countless Nobunaga shows, or shows that have Nobunaga as a theme or character, and I've been impressed by very few of them. I decided to take a chance on this show as Mamoru Miyano was listed as Saburo's voice actor, but it was to be my last attempt at enjoying a Nobunaga show. And this was probably the most genuine Nobunaga show that I've seen. It wasn't really about anything other than the politics and the reality of war during that particular era. This isn't a show that features a gender bent cast or mechs, nor was it advertising a mobile card game. It was a genuinely enjoyable experience for me. So, as you can probably guess, I loved the show. Aside from the time travel aspect, this show is very grounded and takes the setting very seriously. And all of these warriors that are included in the cast are made to feel incredibly human. They aren't just warriors, they are made to feel like fathers and husbands and brothers and human beings outside of their beliefs in this war and it's incredible. Regardless of the fact that it's basically the anime equivalent of a history lesson, it takes the setting and still manages to make it very entertaining. The quirks of the series and the characters and the mix of history and the setting work really well to make an engaging story. Similar to shows like Hataraku Mausama, this show has a lot of comedy based around the difference in culture between modern day Tokyo and Sengoku era Japan. And I enjoyed all of that stuff so much that it totally overshadowed the few things about this show that were pretty bad, mainly its animation. It's animated in this weird 3D CGI style that is pretty abysmal. Because of the animation style, a lot of things are completely missing because of its limitations. I can appreciate being told the details of a battle through dialogue, but if you're expecting and wanting bloody and violent battles, it is completely lacking. The sad thing about this series is that people enjoyed it, but it feels like it left off an incredibly strange place with almost no hope of a sequel. This was sadly and unfortunately a promotional series for the live action drama that began airing immediately after the anime. And I mean, the live action drama is okay, but it doesn't have Mamo, so... So as you can guess, I love this show and I do feel like it was a unique experience. I can't recommend it enough and it's available on Crunchyroll, so you have no excuse. Thanks for listening to this guys, take care and I will see you guys soon. I'm not